The Engage program is basically um, art and civic engagement. We look at art together and talk about art and um, use that to sort of jump off into our own projects. So we, over the summer, we visited the Art Institute. And, and we were just viewing artwork and kind of just discussing it at first. And I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, um, like, you know, whether you like the piece or like what you like about the piece. We actually started talking about the meaning and then like the reason the artist created the piece. We saw a lot of cool art and got to discuss about it and how it could connect to the Engage project or how it was uh, dealing with uh, civil engagement. So at the museum, I just think I saw a lot of cool art that gave me inspiration. Some of the teens had never visited the Art Institute before and along with that, they'd never um, taken any time to, to um, formally talk about art. And then we took our discussions from there and then applied those to current um, issues. Um, in our society and like um, all of the themes that we had for um, Engage and we talked about some of our ideas in creating our own pieces. You know they they took over. Um, we, we put out the idea of creating a project um, that focused on community involvement, community engagement, um, that talked about a specific topic that relates to the community. I just thought it was interesting how the um, oil spill in the Gulf wasn't really impacting our lives here in Chicago as much as it should. And um, so I wanted to create like, you know, a project around that. I sat and watched uh, Sonia and Edward come up with the idea of um, creating uh, some sort of image or some sort of project that made a commentary on the Gulf um, oil spill. And they came up with the idea of creating uh, sort of mock um, a mock product, um, Gulf Water, you know, um, a pretty straightforward uh, commentary on, on, you know, the situation back then. Oil, water, Gulf Water. Um, it was to say, like, eventually, like, if we don't um, stop these companies from, you know, destroying the environment, or we don't, like, you know, really effectively clean up, one day our water supply is going to look like this, instead of going to the store and buying these nice, very little bottles. And I, I knew Edward was a really good graphic uh, uh, artist, and I asked him if he could help me out, and he did these really cool labels. Sonia uh, came to me with this idea, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I figured I'd just help her out and do whatever I could. You know, he used computers to make this, and like, um, we researched a lot of stuff. Uh, I learned like concepts and uh, how to get ideas and creativity here a lot, and I networked with a bunch of people. Like, I know I come here like almost every day, and there's always somebody new I'm meeting and talking to. During the, the creation of the Gulf Water Project, um, Edward, we spoke on um, YM.I Remix uh, a couple times. We um, talked about creating an abstract and um, how that might possibly help him to. to um, create a different style of the label, uh, a different style for the label. Um, he did a couple revisions on Photoshop. Um, I believe he used Photoshop and GIMP and um, oftentimes in this space we'll use Aviary, the open source, because it's sort of easy to use inside the space. It's an online application. Um, we, we experiment a lot with uh, open source applications. Um, it's great to have these tools available in the space because um, seeing what you can do with each one, I think the teens like experimenting with um, different um, different programs, and um, we love to show teens um, different programs they can use to create um, different projects. So um, the space really works well for experimenting. I didn't want to be like a graphic designer before coming here because I didn't think it was like a safe career to go into, or I didn't know anything about it really and then to come in here and um, talking to the people here I found out that there's a lot more about graphic design that I don't know about and other like uh, media related jobs and um, expertise and it basically just opened up my whole viewport, viewpoint and I, um, now I'm excited to go to college and learn about um, and hopefully uh, have a career and related to all of the digital things that I started learning here.